I'm fishing here today. And how's it going? Good. Have you caught anything yet? No. Does that matter? Why doesn't that matter? I think it's just about having fun. Yeah. That's right. Wise words and important life lessons to be learned while hanging out at the pier. Good work. I've never been here. The one thing I knew about Campbell River was you can fish off the pier and you can, if you're lucky, you can land some big ones. One claim to fame is Discovery Pier is Canada's longest public and first saltwater fishing pier. A jewel of sorts for Campbell River, reflecting regional values. People love to, you know, relax. They're not all tied up in this rush and go and, you know, thrash around and, and like big cities have, uh, you know, they, people come here and go, wow, uh, this is the place to retire. Or this is the place to enjoy life. An integral part of what makes Campbell River, Campbell River. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the pier. I can remember when Bob Osler proposed the, uh, he was mayor of the day and, and he proposed a fishing pier because he was aware of one in, in, on the east coast and thought it would be a great uh, tourist attraction for Canberra River and for the locals as well. So council agreed and away we went and uh, Bob asked me to uh, chair a committee to come up with a name and I was just saying a few minutes ago to, to, to Barb that I don't know what other name we could have chosen other than Discovery Pier. We could have called it Canberra River Pier but I don't know, Discovery seemed to really fit. So Discovery Pier it became and I think it's just one of the greatest tourist attractions. And if you work up an appetite fishing, there are always umpteen flavors of ice cream to try with homemade waffle cones. In Campbell River, I'm Marjorie Greaves.